Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm Lottie and today I'm going to be taking you through a nice quick Pilates core and abdominal routine. Um, so we're labeling it that, uh, the core and the abdominals, um, but it's so much more than that. It's about really gaining control of your body, of your trunk, get your spine moving in a really controlled way um, and just having fun with it. So make sure you're not holding your breath at any point. Keep that breath flowing and moving. Stay nice and calm and relaxed and we're going to work nice and strong. Let's get started. So we're going to start coming down onto our backs. So just coming down, gently come down right in the middle of your mat. Really great to just set yourself up. Make sure you've got a nice amount of space around you. You're going to stay nice and hydrated throughout the class as well. And let's let our body just settle here. So the pelvis is releasing. It can take a little moment just to, especially if you've been kind of doing a lot today or you've just woken up even, just let your body just settle for a moment. Let the spine release before we go into any exercises. We just want to take a moment to just feel that breath. Just telling our body to relax, our mind to become aware of our body and of our breath. And then we'll get moving. So we're going to reach the arms all the way up and we'll turn the palms to face each other. We'll just do a few little shoulder drops on each side just to release any tension in the shoulders before we go into some curl ups. So just alternate here. One shoulder peels off and down. Inhale and exhale as you move there. and then bringing the hands behind your head. So you can interlace or put one hand on top of the other. I don't mind as long as you're holding right behind the back of that head. Elbows are in your peripheral vision so they're not flat on the floor, not too tight in. Just try and keep them there the whole time in your peripheral vision. And we're gonna curl up. So the back of the neck gets nice and long, that little plumb space between the chin and the chest. We breathe out as we start to mobilize the upper back off. Inhale, we're gonna come down. So just a breath for each movement. So exhale, curling forwards. This is definitely not a crunching movement. It's about elongating, mobilizing the upper back, working the abdominals as you do that. So we exhale and inhale. Exhale, gazing just towards the knees, just above the knees, keeping the pelvis level and still. <sighs> Breathing all that air out and coming down. We've got about four more, keeping those elbows just there. Try not to be tempted to let them come too far in. Feet stay rooted down onto the mat. Three. It doesn't have to be high. We want this lovely smooth connection. Last two. Breathe and last one, let's hold it there. We're gonna do a little extra lift here. So we can go 10, really small, nine, tiny little up and down, eight and seven and six, feeling those upper abdominals, five and four, nice and gentle here, three, don't need to vigorously pulse, two, and hold it for one. Let's reach those arms forwards. We're gonna go to our little left to right movement. So you might have done this one with me before, this lovely oblique side waist work. Keep standing into those feet as we go. Let's go 10, nine. So you're reaching one hand towards the opposite ankle. Eight, seven, no, the same ankle, not the opposite. Six, five, four, and three, and two, and one. Bring it to the center and let's reach all the way back. Just giving your arms a nice stretch out there. Deep breath in, deep breath out and we'll bring ourselves up to seated. So you can take your um, self to the side, roll onto the side and then just roll up. Or let's try a little assisted roll up. So hold it onto the backs of our thighs, gently press the low back down, nod the chin towards the chest. Use those abdominals we've just found to tip yourself all the way up to seated and we're gonna go into some roll backs. So arms are gonna reach out in front. If you do want a modification, you can hold on to the backs of the legs as well. Find that C curve. So it's this long lifted shape. You're gonna round your back into this rounded shape, this C curve, and you're gonna roll back about halfway. We're gonna take some little single knee folds here. So I'm gonna exhale, right knee in, inhale down, left knee in, inhale down. Breathe out, breathe in. I'm trying not to let the pelvis shift. I'm gonna do eight in total, so we've got four. Try and keep that round in three and you've got two and you've got one lovely let's come all the way up and we're going to repeat that again we're going to roll back 
Maybe go a little bit lower this time. And we go left leg first. Eight, seven, six, and five. Navel to spine, four, controlling that body. Three, and two, and one. And we bring it all the way up and sit nice and tall. Now everyone's gonna hold on, so we're all gonna hold on now. We're gonna again find that round in. And we're gonna add a little bit of a, a work into the obliques as we take one arm out to the side. So breathe in, as you exhale, take one arm out to the side and then keep looking towards that hand and start to rotate towards it. So I'm looking back, looking back, looking back, looking back and then I'm gonna bring it back to the front. I'm gonna hold onto that leg and I'm gonna go the other way. Breathe out, open in the other arm, looking back, rotating that way and breathe in as I bring it back. Good, continue here. So I'm holding on, stabilizing with one side as I open to the other side. Inhale as you bring it back, connecting those shoulders down. We open, breathing out, breathing in. Are you keeping your knees completely still? Foot, foot feet reaching, reaching down and we close it in. It's a very hot day here in London, so I'm, I might get a bit flustered with my words and coming back. Let's do one more to each side. Inhale back to the front and we go open and we go close. Really nice, I love that one. We get some really good feedback from it and lift up nice and tall. Good, we've got a nice fun section now. So just bring your legs around behind you or you can just turn onto your all fours from there. And we're gonna come into a little sort of um, dynamic section where we're going to do two exercises together, keep alternating, and then we'll go on to another two exercises and that's going to finish up our class today. So we're just going to start with a lovely plank. So bring yourself hands underneath the shoulders. Remember we're working that trunk, the back, the core, tailbone is down, nice neutral pelvis, open chest, soft elbows. We're going to step one leg back and we're going to step the other leg out. We're going to take a nice slow mountain climber, just 10. So this is our first exercise, nine, eight, you'll breathe in, Seven, slow and steady, neutral spine. Six, five, press the mat away. Four, and three, and two, so the back's not moving, and one. Slow and steady, you're gonna come onto your elbows. So if you need to bring your knees down, you absolutely can. Lower those hips down so you're in a low plank, and we hold. 10 seconds. Don't hold that breath. Last one, step back up onto the hands. Repeat those 10 mountain climbers. So we're gonna be doing this three times through. Rest whenever you need to. Six. Slow. Two. And one, bring it down. Get those hips nice and low, hold. Press back through those heels. Three, two, one, last set. Step it back, onto the hands. One more time here. Doing so well, keep breathing. Two, last one. One more time, coming down. Pelvis is low. Three, two, one, bring those knees down. I found that hard towards the end, believe me, and sit back on those heels, stretch it out. So we're gonna do two different exercises now, three times through. Oh, release it into that stretch. Okay, so this one's gonna add a little bit more of a twist, a little bit more rotation. So we're gonna to come to our downward dog position or our up stretch. So tuck the toes under, lift the hips, Bring yourself into this lovely stretch for a moment. Now, we're gonna bring the hand to the opposite foot. So what I was trying to say earlier, different exercise though. So we're gonna bring right hand to left foot, reach it back and then bring that hand down. Reach and back, so a nice little stretch. We're getting a little bit of rotation, reaching through. Hips stay high and down, reach and down, reach and down. We've got three, well done. It doesn't matter if you can't touch the ankle. Last one, and we're gonna come up to standing. So walk the feet forwards towards the hands. Roll yourself up to standing. 
Bring your hands back behind your head and we're gonna come into a standing crisscross. We're gonna to rotate towards the knee that's coming up. Eight. Standing crisscross. I'll show you from the front. Four. Three. Two. And one. We're coming back down into that downward dog with a twist. We come in here into that downward dog position and we go here. So you're reaching the opposite hand to the ankle, hips stay high. Rotate just that little bit, keeping those hips high. Keep that Pilates mind, keep the breath, the control. You've got it, oh, I'm losing count, sorry. Let's go four, I think. <laughs> Three, two, nice strong shoulders as you take one hand off, walk those feet in. We come up through that spine, hands go behind the head. With control, we take this balancing exercise, crisscross. So I am doing a little bit of a flexion towards that knee, just a little bit, not overdoing it. Just a little bit of rotation and flexion. Four more, four, three, keeping that balance, two, and one, we've got one more time, taking it down. Breathe, you're doing so well. Step it back, reach across and back. Eight. Nice control. Lead with that head as well. With your eyes. Last one on each side. So let's walk it in for that last time. Gently roll up through that spine. Hands reach behind the head and we go twist. Really try and connect into those obliques. Stand into the standing leg with strength. Six, five, four. Don't be tempted to go elbow to knee. Think chest to thigh. Last one on each side. Maybe this is an extra one. And well done, guys. Reach those arms up and around. Just loosen up, turn the head left to right. Rolling those shoulders, releasing that head. Take a little up and down movement as well. And then just bring the hands behind the head to finish off. Take a nice stretch up with your chest as if you're gonna go into a little back bend. Look up towards where the wall meets the ceiling. Excellent, and then just find that lovely standing posture, let those arms trickle down by your side. Feel how you've worked that trunk, those abdominals, bring it up to standing. Breathing out and releasing. And you're all done, I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you found that fun and you're feeling really strong and connected. So you can go and check out one of my other routines or take a look at the virtual studio. I'd love for you to become a member and find out what we're up to over there. We've got loads of fun things going on, different series, full length classes. So if you want a longer 45 minute or a 50 minute length class, then that's where you are gonna find them. And I'll leave the link in the description box below for you to find that. Thank you so much for joining me and I will see you on the mat again soon. Bye.